Hey guys, so let's make Rakhi today. I'm gonna make Rakhi using SD Academia's 2 is to 1 resin. Because of the weather, I'm using a 2 is to 1 resin instead of 3 is to 1 for casting. But it works fine. I'm using these two molds for Rakhi. So let's measure the resin. Uh, so we ha I have this uh, weighing scale and uh, cup and uh, I'm gonna uh, make Rakhi using small amounts of resin. Uh, you don't want to pour extra and then the resin goes to waste. So I'm gonna do make the Rakhis in small batches. So the small. So right now I'm gonna pour uh, 14 grams of resin and 7 grams of hardener. Uh, for one batch so uh, before doing all this please make sure that you're wearing your uh, gloves and your mask and uh, to protect your clothes you're wearing an apron because i am and now that we have mixed uh, we have poured the resin and hardener i'm gonna mix it for a good one minute Here's a tip for you guys, always mix the resin in one direction, either clockwise or anti-clockwise, uh, so that you develop less bubbles in the resin and it's mixed really properly and well. Now I'm going to let it sit for 30 seconds so that whatever bubbles have come up, settle down. Now I'm going to take my molds and put it on a cardboard for the pigment I'm using Tulsi Store's uh, opaque pigment that is uh, bluish gray and I'm gonna take a very small amount as we have only uh, 21 grams of resin so I'm gonna take a very small amount of uh, opaque pigment and mix it in the uh, resin okay so here's a bonus tip for you all uh, while using a silicone mold always put it on a cardboard sheet or a mdf so that it's easy to level in case your table is not leveled or your ground is uneven you can put a stick below it now i'm gonna make a duck peak now that the resin is mixed with the color and i'm gonna make a duck peak but before that let me just burst a few bubbles as these are small molds it's better that you burst it in the glass itself so i'm just gonna burst the bubbles and then pour the resin and then in case we come across any more bubbles we can always use the blowtorch and burst them as well so here i'm making a duck peak and pouring the uh, re uh, resin mixed with color into the mold make sure that you pour it really slowly so that you don't over pour your molds or else you'll have to sand them hope you all are enjoying watching this video of resin rakhi and do subscribe to my channel press the bell icon to get the notifications of videos and like comment let me know your views about it and let me know if you want me to make more making videos of other resin products and yes i will do that for you all so now i'm gonna fast forward the pouring process as uh, it takes some time as i pour really slowly not to over pour again reminding you all not to over pour i love this color it's a little dark but i love it i am done with batch one now i'm gonna ref i'm just gonna blow torch it and refill my resin and uh, again repeat the same process of uh, pouring slowly into each mold so in this video i am just doing a single color uh, resin for uh, all the rakis uh, if you want me to uh, show you how to do like a rakhi uh, a color plus uh, gold flakes or you know preserve flowers or uh, preserve pearls uh, i can show you that let me know in the comments again uh, what do you want to see from me and i will uh, try to make that uh, make those products for you and uh, i'm done with batch two as well i'm again going uh, again mixing and uh, i got the batch three now uh, so for these two molds uh, around 60 
grams of resin was used uh, uh, 60 grams of resin plus hardener that's the total amount that was used for this batch uh, i'm using a toothpick to just uh, uh, fill in the gaps and uh, just pouring a bit on one mold which uh, needed a little resin and uh, just giving a last blow torch and here's the result after 24 hours uh, these are the rakis that have totally cured and looking really nice i colored this uh, uh, letters pro in a golden with a golden pen and uh, i'm gonna just stick the stickers now and i have already put up a video on how to stick the stickers so i'll uh, put the link in the description box and you can just uh, check that out so we are done here and wait for part two to see the finished look of this rocky see you bye bye